today's video is the story of Rohit, born to middle class parents the Guptas, who did whatever they could to give a good life to Rohit and a fantastic value system, school and college whose fees was more than what the Guptas could afford, but the typical middle class hope that their child will do better than them in life. This was phase one of Rohit's life. Time flies. After spending a third of his life in school and college, Rohit is now ready to join a job. His study bag is finally replaced by a laptop and for the first time in life, he will see his own money. He is already imagining a big pile of savings and a good life ahead. This begins phase two of the good life. Rohit does realize that there are certain deductions on his salary, namely taxes and retiral benefits. Rohit is ready for the next phase of his life. With his own money in hand, he decides to contribute a bit to his parents also, groceries, rent, and he starts to spend a bit on himself as well, but of course, within the value system that he inherited from his parents. All the while, he sees a bit of his savings getting eaten up. For him, this is literally a leakage from his salary, but he can't do anything about it. At this stage, he gets an advice from his parents. Invest a bit into your retirement, go for instruments like PPF or some ULIPs, which will help you retire with grace and with a lot of money. He likes the advice because it will save some tax and he subscribed to some of the plans. Rohit is a hardworking man. He soon gets promoted to manager Rohit. He starts to enjoy a higher salary and also a handsome bonus for his hard work and contribution to the growth of the company. He is a lot more organized in his expenses now. His policies, contribution to the home and his own lifestyle expenses that still leaves a lot of money from his earnings as savings in the bank. At this stage, he realizes that there are actually two leakages. One is the deductions, primarily the retiral benefits and taxes. And second is inflation. Whatever he is spending here, that's getting inflated every month, every year. Which means his family's expenses are going up continuously and he has to step up on the contribution as and when things become dearer. Couple of years pass by, Rohit is now ready for the next phase of his life. Yes, he gets married. There are now two incomes and hence the savings size increases considerably. Mr. and Mrs. Rohit decide to increase the spending on entertainment and lifestyle. That gives them immense happiness. At this stage, with significant disposable income, both of them decide to change their lives a little. Their contribution to retirement benefits increase and they go ahead and buy their dream house. Other expenses remain same. They add one more expense category, nice vacations to their list. All the while, the leakages are still there, but they are more in control of their expenses. They know what is coming up next month. So they are a lot more organized. As both of them continue to work hard, they start their phase five of life. There is abundance of money and to manage it well, they take external advice. Their portfolio manager advises them to think of a portfolio. Their portfolio has various elements now. From expenses category, the retiral benefits move to the portfolio. They get started with certain SIPs long term, which will create wealth for them. They start investing in the equity market. Some disposable income they keep in fixed deposits. And they also periodically start buying gold. Also, after the diversification, they are more in control of the leakages, like tax and mandatory retiral benefits and inflation. They also have better predictability and control on their expenses. They are now ready to enter the new phase of life, phase 6. Junior Mr. Gupta is born and a new happy phase begins. In hindsight, Rohit does see certain expenses increasing soon that he needs to start planning for. One smart thing they do is they buy insurance, which means if something bad happens, then the child will have enough money to live a decent life. The next phase of life, phase 7, comes with certain changes. First is their child gets into school and aspirationally the Guptas move to a better apartment, but they don't sell off their first home, they give it out on rent. Now they have two category of expenses, a fixed category, which means these expenses will happen every month come what may, and a variable set of expenses that can be controlled if required. When you're doing well, time really flies and flies fast. The Guptas now have some gray hair and their kid is growing fast. Their portfolio has grown rapidly in size. Their first house also is now a part of the portfolio because it gives rental as income. Their expense categories are broadly the same. However, the expense size has increased considerably. One additional expense, they're also supporting their parents now. And the next big aspiration, they drive home a nice, swanky, aspirational SUV. To better manage their additional expenses, they develop a concept called passive income, which means some of their assets in the portfolio are generating regular income which is feeding into the expenses. They also start contributing to the profits of large MNCs because their aspirations are growing bigger. They buy costlier phones, they spend considerable time on social media, they do online shopping, and they're taking a lot of loans and spending a lot of money on credit cards. Guptas are in the mid 40s, salaries are growing, aspirations are growing as well. Mrs. Gupta is thinking of a villa or a penthouse. Mr. Gupta is thinking whether they should send their kid 
maybe to a US or UK university. There is a lot of tussle going on in terms of feasibility of various options. This is when life changes. There is an emergency. Life teaches a hard lesson that for no fault of yours, you can be brought down to your knees. A pain that you didn't deserve, a situation that you never expected, but you have to face the reality. It takes the Guptas some time to recover. And as soon as they are back to their feet, they reevaluate their priorities. They realize that their only son is about to fly off the nest, going to a college. Their parents are aging every time they say bye. There is a lurking fear. Is it the last time we are seeing them? Also, the definition of entertainment have changed. Late night parties, going out with friends. All those things are not as exciting as they used to be five years back. Basically, their priorities are changing with age. At this stage, Mrs. Gupta and Mr. Gupta decide to evaluate their priorities and answer some hard questions. How much money do we realistically have in our portfolio? Are we doing okay with inflation? Do we have enough money for the education of our child, including graduation and post-graduation, especially considering the huge increase in fees of late? Have we saved enough money to take care of our health care? More philosophical questions like what do we enjoy most at this juncture in life? Are we spending enough time on what we really want and enjoy doing? Why do we really need a larger home? Are our investments safe? We have a diversified portfolio, but will it be eaten up by a global event? Broader questions, do we need to replan? How long do we need to work more? Do we actually need to work more with respect to the money we already have? After spending considerable time on planning and replanning, they decide to create a plan to get in control of life. The plan had four elements, one portfolio, which means all instruments in their portfolio, not just say equity. So fixed deposits, bonds, gold, real estate, everything as one portfolio. Based upon the financial goals, they decide once they grow it 2x, they will be able to hang their boots and achieve what is today called FIRE, financial independent, retire early. The next question was, how do we increase the portfolio to 2x? They decide to capitalize on the growth story of their country. The economy was slated to grow from $4 trillion to $7 trillion in the next 3-4 years, they said we will capitalize on this growth. So they created a 4-year plan to double the money of the combined portfolio. Simplistically speaking, this was a plan which they nicknamed 1234. If this story sounded familiar to you, don't be surprised. A significant population in the middle class goes through more or less this story. But most people are out of control and they don't know when to stop, when to start living life, earning fresh money and adding it to the corpus versus growing what they already have earned and start enjoying life. As a result, a significant part of their day, week, month, years and life goes towards working rather than enjoying life to the fullest. In some ways, this is also the life of me and my spouse and we decided to take control of it some time back. This journey of four years is not limited to four years. It paves the path for even the next 10 years and maybe their 50th marriage anniversary also. It is based upon four key pillars, happiness, awareness, wealth, and holistic health. Over the course of time, I'll create videos and content aligned with this philosophy and plan. I don't have a set list of topics where I would be creating the content. So do let me know in comment section what all topics would interest you. Do subscribe to the channel and watch out for more content to come. In the immediately next video, I'll cover some of the important topics that we all need to be aware of as a basic background or groundwork needed for this financial journey. So watch out for the next video, which will be released soon. Best of luck for your journey and thanks a lot for watching.